We're speaking about the Ten Commandments and we're still talking about the ways in which the First Commandment can be broken. We've been talking about atheism and agnosticism. The Catechism follows in number 2129 through 2132 explaining the whole concept of you shall not make for yourself a graven image. One of the one of the criticisms often leveled against the Catholic Church is that we are adoring idols. That is to say that we've got statues, we've got pictures, we've got paintings, we've got crucifixes, we've got altars, we've got s statues of saints in the church, and this is all often leveled against us that we are we're practicing idolatry because we are worshiping these images. Couldn't be farther from the truth. We actually do not adore these images, but what we do is we love and respect those who represent the images. Probably most of you have a portrait of the one you love in your pocket or in your iPhone or even on your wall you maybe have a picture of your mother and your father maybe your son your daughter maybe um, a grandparent you have that that photo those photograph you have it posted on the wall well does that mean that you are adoring your grandfather or or your loved one? Of course not. What it does is it calls to mind your loved one. That's exactly what we're doing as Catholics. We'll have an image of divine mercy and that calls to mind that God is rich in mercy that even though we do fall into sin his mercy goes way beyond our misery. We see an image of Our Lady Guadalupe, or Our Lady Fatima, statue or painting. Does that mean that we're, we're adoring the image of the statue? No, we love what it represents. Or I have read before me in a, a cross of St. Benedict, which I see Jesus nailed to the cross, his hands, his feet, his head is crowned with thorns. Does that mean that I'm, I'm adoring the crucifix? Of course not. But it helps me, by looking at Jesus on the cross, to recognize how much he suffered for me, how, many, how much he loved me. So, in sum, we do not adore the images, but we love what they represent.